So I'm going to show you basically how to use Grapher. You go down to this thing called Launchpad. It's on your dock. It opens up this page that has all your applications. And if you go to the utility section, it is basically an application with all your utilities in it. And then you open this application called Grapher. And it'll open this page. So let's start with a 2D graph and just do like a default graph. You can type in like oh, y equals 2 and it'll put your line on the 2 of the y-axis. And then if you want to get a new equation to have contradicting lines, you could do like new equation. And you could do like x equals 3. And it'll have the lines crossing at this point. And basically if you just want to remove these uh, equations without deleting the equation, you can uncheck this box and it'll take the lines off of the graph. And you could also do an equation like y equals 3x plus 4 and it'll pop up the line with the slant how you wanted it and if you uncheck that you could do another equation like y equals 3 backslash 4 and it'll make a fraction for you and that'll give you your slant with on the graph alright so say you want to do like a 3d graph you just go to file new and you go to 3d graph we'll do a default theme and basically it's just a 3d graph you can control by clicking your mouse and do like z equals 3 it'll have this grid that pops up on that point and then you could just do the same thing like go to equation new equation and type like x equals 4 and it'll pop up this and I'll have the two graphs contradicting and then if you want to do like another equation because it is a 3d graph you could do y equals 5 and it'll pop that up and it basically just shows where all three points would connect and on this graph you can also unclick these and you could do an equation with the same thing and you could do like 2x equals 4 and it'll pop up oh, 2x plus 4 I'm sorry and it'll pop up this graph and basically you could just do another fraction by doing 2 backslash 5 and it'll make the fraction and you could do that. So that's how you use Grapher.